There we go. This is the main base here. This is Rogers. Well, it's basically Fender uh, precision base. It's not all Fender. A little larger neck than usual. Made up over the years of various bits and pieces. Fender actually took that one to pieces and cloned this one, even down to the markings on the neck. GE has uh, the original style Fender P base. This is late 1951. This is uh, serial number 88, something like that. Brady has a number of samples from the original wall album. He'll call them up with this guy and he'll play them with this little pad here. Kind of like a timpani roll in Vera. But the rest is all acoustic. <laughs> it's all him. We have three distinctly different soloists. Kilminster, uh, Snowy and, and GE. Makes it real, real interesting. Dave Kilminster, uh, he's a Telecaster man. The ones he's using this time around are made by John Sir. These are really fine instruments. They're like Telecaster Plus. The vibrato, like a Stratocaster. His number one is the Rose. He plays it from the top of the wall for the comfortably numb solo. Now the one next to it is tuned down to uh, D for run like hell, because it has a deep, deep throaty sound that uh, was used in the original tune. Nylon string, or classical guitar here, is a uh, Godin, which is a Canadian company, and this is a solid body, actually so it doesn't feed back like a, a, a traditional classical instrument. So we have a history with, with Dave and Snowy and of course Roger and GE just fit right in. It's like he's been here for years. He's a Telecaster man as well. So that's after my heart. This is the blonde Telecaster. I'm just getting to know his guitarist where I know all the, all the tasty little bits about him. The only one we don't bring up until the last minute is Snowy's Les Paul, Snowy's baby we call it. It's an original 59 gold top. At one point, early in Dark Side of the Moon, it, after years of baby in this thing with road case within a trunk, within another road case, it got knocked over on stage and the headstock broke. We sent it off to a master luthier who fixed the thing and uh, shipped it back and I made special bumper guitar stands in case it goes over again. We don't bring it out until the very last minute. <laughs> All the funny instruments, like GE's 1912 Gibson mandolin, 1912, uh, the banjo, of course the accordion, uh, the ukulele, which Graham plays, was uh, uh, one that was custom made by Martin. Uh, the band uh, gave it to Roger at the end, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, as a gift, and it's all beautifully inlaid with his name down the, the fretboard. And This is one of Roger's acoustics. He plays two during the show, one in Mother and one in Blue Sky. And favourite acoustic guitar, it's a Martin Special Edition. This is what he plays on Mother. It's in a nice black lacquer, different machine heads, and it sounds lovely. Then we go down to the front stage. This is only the main stage. We actually have two. There's two Hammond organs, two sets of synthesizers, two drum kits. Man. I didn't think it through when I answered the phone and said yes. <laughs>